inspiration, transformation, success stories, and the imperfect action round. Seven days a week. Join Mario Ficini for today's Expert Authority Effect interview. It was the night before Christmas and all through the hood. Not a creature was stirring because it was all good. Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, 2020, what a <laughs> interesting year. And um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this whole year's been weird. But you know what I'm thankful for? Family, friends, spending time with them, and remembering what the season is truly about. And it's not the crazy snowflake waterfall. Um, we've all been through a lot. But if you look at any point in time in history, and I don't even want to say the word. I think we're all just done. But there's so many people I've talked to and there's so many people I've had on the show. And I'm so thankful for that because it really shows you it comes down to your mentality and mindset. And there's people who are going, woe is me. The, the sky is falling. And there's people that are going you know what, I'm going to take this opportunity because I see it as an opportunity and not everything's going great, but I'm going to make it better. And I'd like to think that's what I've done this year. And I pray you've done the same. And if not, there's probably nothing that's really going to change too much in the next few days. And most people, I would say, are taking time off for family and friends so do that today. If you weren't planning on it, I encourage you to do it. Write down one thing you really just loved about Christmas years ago. There's still time. There's still time. And there's a lot of stuff. And one of mine was always spending time with family and friends. So I've always prioritized that. But it's just an interesting time. It's an interesting year. And you may be listening to this when you're working. You may be going, I'm going to take some time off later. Finish that email. Finish whatever you're doing. Take the time off now. And if you're already taking the time off, uh, maybe you started a few days ago. Good. I hope you don't come back till after New Year's. Sincerely. Because I've told my clients for years about nights and weekends, you know. Take the time off. Focus on family. There's no point in building a successful business if you don't have a successful life and you can't enjoy the time with it. And it's like, oh, I just need Saturday to catch up from the week. It's like if you didn't do it in five days, one more, you know, 20 percent, one fifth. It's like what can you – I've always seen it and I don't know why I was tapping the thing there because I got full range of motion, right, Chiang? I've always looked at it as instead of going, this sucks, I look at it going, how can I make this better so next year, heck, next month, I never have to come back and deal with this again, ever. Is it a person? Is it a team? Is it a system? Is it a software? Is it a whatever? Just, it's not that complicated. Just think about what you didn't like about this year, and I'm sure it's a whole laundry list, and really just... <sighs> Think about it and go, what do I, what do I not, what do I, what do I want to take with me into 2021 and what do I never want to do again in life? There is something I have no doubt that is on your heart that's just like, yet, yeah, no more. Because the reality is there's always going to be something bad going on. There's always going to be, uh, you know, every four years, last I knew, there's a new election. Uh, every 12 months, there's a new year. Every 90-ish days, there's a new quarter. You know, uh, depending on when, where the moon's at during whatever day, uh, you know, we've got seasons. You might be in a climate that it's the same all year. But here in Detroit, Michigan, you can see there's some snowflakes falling. It changes. Things change. But where are you aiming? Now, you may like going down the slope in a sled and, you know, tobogganing and all this. And that's fun. It's exhilarating. We pay to go on roller coasters. We pay to go see these crazy movies. And I don't know about you, but there's been some of the craziest stuff in the world. It's like, this is better than the movies that were 10 years ago. And this isn't even a script. 
and I know the toboggans and roller coasters and all that's fun, but if you feel like I just paid to be stuffed in a dryer and just to dump, to dump, to dump. Hey, I can't say I fully felt that way every moment of every day all year because the truth is I haven't and I'm thankful for that. But I did make a plan last year of what I wanted this year to go like. At, let me rephrase that. It's where I wanted it to be. It didn't go anywhere as near of what I wanted it to do. But the end result was still very, very close. Very, very similar. In some ways, very much better. But where are you aiming with that? So I'm not going to get in a dissertation. I really just wanted to say um, Merry Christmas Eve. Enjoy time with your family and friends. There's probably nothing you could really do that's going to change the trajectory of the next week a ton. But every moment does count. Every day does count. If you've had a complete waste of a year and it feels like that and you go, you know what? I'm taking the time today. It's just me. I'm going to start a business. Good for you. I don't know your situation. You might have a big family and you can't see them. You might have a big family and you are seeing them. You might have no family and just whatever it is for you, don't feel like you're boxed into doing any one thing that you're supposed to do. And to, if there's ever a year, you can just basically break any and all rules. It's this one. I'm personally advocating spend time with your family and friends because if this was the last year in the face of life, how would you want it to end? How would you want it? To, how would you like to go out with? And I bet you it's not doing another email or replying back to whatever. And if you wouldn't do it today, why are you doing it any other day? A little food for thought. So Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. No, Merry Christmas Eve. Tune in tomorrow for the Christmas episode. And, um, That's about it. I was going to make a comment on the background. Kind of like it, kind of love it. But now I think the other one kind of looks a little plain. But maybe it's supposed to be that way. So, Merry Christmas Eve. You're already the expert. But have you transformed your expertise into a tangible asset that will generate and qualify leads while increasing profit for you 24-7? And if so, how well are you promoting it? With the Expert Authority Effect Publishing Method, it's easier and faster than ever. Visit freebusinessbookpublishingcourse.com today to learn the seven steps to publish and promote your nonfiction lead and profit generating business book in eight weeks. Visit freebusinessbookpublishingcourse.com to get started now. Once again, that's freebusinessbookpublishingcourse.com. Com. Hey, thanks for listening to today's episode. I hope you got a lot out of it. I know I sure did. If you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to the show. And also be sure to check out eainterviews.com for complete show notes, the full interview video experience, links to the resources we mentioned, and more. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you tomorrow.